A family who couldn't find their loved one's grave came to News 8 for help, but now they are dealing with a new outrage. The Hampton Plain Cemetery on Circular Avenue told them the wrong headstone was on their loved one's grave. News 8's Aaron Cox has reaction tonight from the family and the cemetery. This family came to News 8 asking for help and trying to locate their loved one in this Hamden Cemetery. We're back out here. We thought we got them the answer, but there's still confusion about her final resting place. But where was Rubina's grave? Alfred Pina is still unsure of his mother's resting place here at Hamden Plains. The family asking News 8 for help on an Easter, they were unable to locate her grave, the temporary marker missing. After our story aired, the management company promising to mark it but it still isn't clear. It's a ball of confusion to ask the people that are running the grave site and they can't even tell me where she is. It's supposed to go this way. Is Joining this him way is Jackie Grant, who alerted News 8 to problems here two years ago. Her aunt had to be exhumed to be sure of her burial location since management here has changed twice, but with previous poor record keeping, the problems continue. Every man, woman, and child that's buried out here needs to be labeled, accounted for, and they need to keep proper records so that other families don't keep going through this. I know that my mother went home to be with the Lord is one thing, but I know her body, her remains is somewhere in the cemetery. It would be nice that we would know where. A member of the cemetery committee even came down in person to try and sort it out, but with no markers in many sections, it's difficult to determine. Everybody looks the same in the ground. Turns out the headstone for another person was wrongly installed where Pina's mother is buried. That doesn't make Albert feel confident he'll be paying respects in the right place. Will you ever feel sure it, she, you found her? Not until we saw the coffin and the, actually the coffin and the name. That's the only way you could be sure at this point. Now they're considering calling the state attorney general in an effort to get access to the cemetery's records. Reporting on the scene in Hamden, I'm Erin Cox, News 8.